Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you how can you make an account on DH Shayan portal which is the first and the foremost step toward the exam scheduling and uh, uh, registration process. So first of all, uh, I will search uh, uh, DH Shayan on Google. I'll click that and the next thing is uh, you can see two things here. DHA account and the registration process so I will move toward the register uh, first process and uh, here uh, you have to put all the details so the first thing is your username this could be anything this could be your first name or, your, or the last name or your nickname or anything this doesn't matter and the next thing is uh, your email uh, the email that you are going to use must be and active and maybe it should be a professional email and uh, where you can uh, respond to the email that are being sent to you uh, by the DHA. This, uh, the next thing is uh, your password and uh, confirm password. You will have to confirm the password that you are going to put uh, in the first place. The next thing is your first name and the last name. These are this is the most important step while uh, registration because uh, the first and the last name on DHA Shayan portal must be the same that's on your uh, documents because uh, uh, while uh, verifying or while uh, going through the data flow process uh, they ask you uh, that uh, the name on your documents must be the same uh, that's on your DHA Shayan portal uh, so this is the most important step here the next thing is your nationality and uh, that's obviously according to uh, your nationality uh, uh, the country that have issued you uh, your CNIC uh, uh, and the next thing is your mobile number and it uh, should be obviously uh, your active mobile number and uh, that uh, uh, that you are using on your daily basis and obviously it should be according um, with your country code the next uh, and the last thing is you have to uh, tell the, them that you are not a robot and uh, while confirming that you can move to a, the uh, last process and while clicking on the registration process last thing is your ATP code that they will send you to the email address that you have given them after entering the correct ATP uh, code uh, they will make you an account that you can use for not only for the um, registration process but also for the exam scheduling so we have made the DHA Shiryan portal account we will go to the Shiryan portal again I will click this link Here you can see the two options again DHA account or the registration process. So we have gone through the registration process. Now we have the DHA account. So we will click this. Now they are asking about the DHA username and password. We will put our username and password accordingly and click on the login. Guys, this is our landing page and uh, we will go to the uh, Shiryan portal here you can see the visit Shiryan portal section we will click that this is our DHS Shiryan portal on the top right corner you can see our profile you can see your username that must be according to your documents and your DHA unique ID this unique ID is going to help you not only while exam scheduling because you have to uh, generate your DHA eligibility number while using this uh, DHA unique ID but it will also help uh, while uh, going for the data flow process uh, as you can see in the professional section uh, there are uh, there is a complete process that you can go through uh, while going to the new applicant section the step one is self-assessment tool we have already uh, uploaded a video on our channel about the um, about how can you use this self-assessment tool and the step, step and the step two is uh, registration process and uh, we have already uploaded a video about this as well you can watch that video on our youtube channel as well uh, so this was it for today guys i hope it was helpful if you want me to make more videos about dh data flow process or you have any queries you can uh, comment down in the comment section till the next time have a good day